Okay, I will continue this recording this video because Trina won't stop barking. I don't know what she's barking on. But yeah, I will continue this video. So, good day for reviewers. Um, I'll be discussing on this video my recent effing acne and my liquid soap, okay? So, but before that, I want to show you moments ago what I bought. I bought this. UK Derm Erase. So, this is my old bottle. Can you see? Yeah. And this is the new bottle. Can you see her? I don't know if it's focusing or not, but yeah, this is the bottle. So, what I bought is another, this one, Band-Aid Wash Proof. For some of you who doesn't know, I stop, I start not wearing bra. I stopped wearing bra. Years ago, like 2016, I only used this or this or an effing tube. Because I don't like straps, you know. I don't like straps. So, yeah. Moving on, my effing acne. Okay, before telling about these acne products I have here. Way back in college, I really have an effing bad acne. So, my mom brought me to the local clinic. To the local derma clinic here on my area. And, yeah, I undergone picking pimples. They start picking my pimples with their tools. And after that, um, I undergone chemical peel. And a month or so... I came back to the clinic for an effing diamond pill. So, yeah. After that, they gave me effing maintenance here. This is azelaic acid. They also gave me uh, erythromycin. So, yeah. But, okay, it's a maintenance so you don't stop. But what did I do? I effing stop it because I'm lazy applying products on my face. So yeah, I start breaking out again. So I use it again and then I stop using it again. But you need to continuously use it on your effing face. Especially azelaic acid is a good acid. Why? Azelaic acid stops the redness. Reduce the redness and stops for... Um, stops the pimple from growing as big as your face. Yeah, it stops the growth of the pimple and it resurfaces the pus of the pimple. So, when the pimple resurface, I use a race as a spot treatment on the effing pus, on the effing pimple. So, yeah, it starts peeling off and drying and dying like that <laughs> so yeah i also use erase as a not as a like a chemical peel how do i do that i apply two layers i own i've only tried two layers i've never gone to three layers but two layers works for me because a day or two um, I see my skin, you know, shaving its skin itself, yeah, starts flaking and peeling off. So, yeah, first I put first layer and then I let it dry and I put another layer on my face. So, that's two layer. So, you should try first layer before first if you haven't tried the product. So, yeah, I don't want to go to third layer because I never know what will happen on my face. So, if you're going to planning on doing that, just make sure you won't go out that day in the sun because it makes your skin sensitive to sunlight. Yeah. So, you all, you need to always wear sunblock. Moving on, my liquid soap here. Um, when I travel, I don't travel a lot. So, yeah. But when I travel, I hate bringing soaps, like this container for your soaps, or having uh, bar soap. So, what do I do? I liquefy soap, like this, yeah. I liquefy them, but I only liquefy natural soap. 
So I bought a bunch of soap from Sesu. Can you see it? We have calamansi, charcoal, and tea tree from Sesu products here. And I also, oh my gosh, I have this from Snow. This effing cost me 300 plus, you know, guys. Yeah. But it smells good. Because it smells good. <laughs> With a nest. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry for my horrible English. So this is, um, it has a lot of berries in it. So yeah. And it really smells good. Whew. This is what it looks like when you liquefy it on, yeah. And you have here uh, Vital C, tea tree also, antibacterial soap. So uh, tea tree is good for your effing acne, pimples. This one, out of all tea tree soaps I have here, I have three tea tree from Sesu and from my local derma here, this one. And this from Vital C. This is the only one that you know, have a very good scent in it. It smells like menthol, like Vicks. So yeah, tea tree soap from Sesu. Mm, from my local derma. Mm, I don't like the smell. So yeah. So what do I do? First, I chop off soaps like this. I chop them off into pieces or the amount I want to for them to be in my soap so yeah I don't use weighing scale I just use my instincts on that it's an effing lazy so I put the uh, I put them on a container as big as this yeah it's a 1000 ml so this is an empty container of my old keratin oil, organic hot oil for my effing hair that my mom bought for me. So yeah, I just put, um, this is a, this, uh, what you call the purified water. Uh, I purify, puri I use purified, don't use top water. And then after that, because it's natural, it's easily, you know, melted on just water. Because I tried, like, Olay, Dove soap, soaps like that, or Palmolive soap. Um, I need to use boiling. I need to boil them before they effing melt. But, natural soaps here is tested. Just put water and they melt immediately. So yeah, this is what it looks like when it's done. So I'm running out of liquid soap. So uh, I'm going to start to make another liquid soap. So yeah, how do I use my liquid soap? I have a small container here. Yeah, this one. I shake the bottle first and then I don't put that I um, squeeze the bottle and it let out the effing bubbly here the bubbles part of the soap that's what I use not the effing direct liquid so that's what that's how I do it but you know you can do it whatever you like so I'm just sharing how I do mine so I'll be back on doing I'll sh I'll roll the clip me chopping this off and putting some effing water on an effing container here. So yeah, let's get on to it.
thanks for watching. Don't forget to share and subscribe, okay?